The seats at Ryan's Auditorium at the Portland Public Library filled up quickly and more chairs were added before the Learning Works graduation for the Youth Building Alternatives program could start. Friends and family of the graduates filled the seats and stood as the class in cap and gown proceeded down the aisle. Sonny Waterman talked about the education and training the graduates received as well as their volunteer work. They have participated in numerous hours of community service in many organizations such as the Wayside Food Pantry where they cooked meals that were donated to the Teen Center in Westbrook. They built garden boxes there also. They prepared meals for Ronald McDonald House for the families who live there and stay there. They also went to the YWCA in Lewiston to help distribute clothing to the victims of the fires in Lewiston. Amanda Fielder gave the student address. I'm so proud of us all for overcoming those hard situations and making our dreams come true and not letting anyone hold us down. I want you all to remember that we can do anything we put our minds and hearts on. No matter what life has to throw at us, we are intelligent and strong and know that nothing can stop us now, for we are tomorrow's future. Ethan Strimling, Executive Director of Learning Works, commented on the attendance at the graduation and how that represents the personal support the graduates have. It takes all of us to get there, and your being here today is remarkable. I've never seen a crowd this big, standing room only. That tells me there is more love in their lives than probably they even understand. Maine State Senate President Justin Alphon gave the keynote address and commended the graduates on their accomplishments. You being here today, graduating in the face of adversity, is a reflection of you. It's a reflection of you wanting to do something, and it's a reflection of knowing that you can. The graduates received several awards, including Student of the Year, which went to Andrew Annis of Cliff Island. I'm with the Student of the Year, Andrew Annis. Hi, Andrew. Hi. Well, you not only came every day, participated in everything they had to offer, but you had an extra challenge of having to get on a ferry early in the morning every day and come two hours into Portland. It's a three-hour commute every single day. Back and forth. Oh, yeah, every day. It's real fun. But why did this school make a difference for you? Uh, they individualize the needs that every student has and they utilize those to form a more suitable edu education kind to fit that student's needs. I'm with Mary Ann Tracy, a mother of a graduate. Andrew Annis. Hi, Mary Ann. Hi, Leslie. <laughs> this has been a long haul for Andrew and for you. Yes. <laughs> Tell me what today means to you as a mother of a graduate. Um, his success and um, YBA has been a compass in his hand to give him guidance and it was a place he would want to be and made it every day and it's just to see him happy and succeed is what could a mother want so it's been wonderful. As the graduates received their diplomas their accomplishments were listed and YBA faculty congratulated each graduate. I had a chance to talk with some of the teachers and graduates after the ceremony. I'm with Nick D'Souza now, who introduced a new program at, at Learning Works this year, the Culinary Arts Program. Yep. Yeah, it's a team battle chef. It's a, I was asked to come up with a new career field or path for the students, and I'd always enjoyed cooking with the students when it comes time for uh, Christmas or Thanksgiving celebrations, and it just kind of seemed like a natural fit, and the students really took right to it. and. I mean, the program itself just kind of took off. It's a, it's a great program. It's almost written for our students. You're a dad. Yes, I am. Uh, I have two kids. I have a six-year-old and a two-year-old. So not only were you going to school, but you were oh, yeah. dealing yeah. with two little kids and, and working as well. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah, I paint murals at uh, York's Wild Kingdom. So what made you want to go back to school, get your GED? I want to, you know, get a better job so I can support my family. Afterward. There was a small reception with a cake for the graduates. Friends and family shared their success and hopes for the future.